We'll use Logis and Linus solution for exponential decay model regression. And here we have a data set where our chart shows exponential decay. And we show the trend line in the exponential form. And this is our trend line equation, the exponential form, 6.05 times e to the negative 2.02x. So we will calculate these coefficients using logest and Linus function of our Google Sheets. We begin with the Linus, the logest. We have logest of known data y and data x. And we show the full statistics. Here we have 10 outputs. And you'll notice our B0 is almost the same as our A, which is 6.05, our A. So our Y equals A times exponent BX. So our A is 6.05 in the chart. And in our longest output is 6.039. They're almost the same. And our B, we don't have B, but we have uh, exponent B. To get that value, we use ln of B, which is negative 2.011, which is almost uh, the same as our chart, negative 2.02. We can calculate the Linus function of this data set by transforming our data set into the linear form. So we transform our equation to linear. It becomes ln x, ln y, y equals ln y, and a times exponent bx will be converted to ln a plus bx because the logarithm of exponent bx is bx. And we factor out the x uh, values. We have one comma x matrix, which is this matrix, times ln a semicolon b, which is this matrix. We'll get these values using the, the Linus function. So we do, we, we enter the, the y values in the linear form, which is RA formula, ln of the y values. And we fill up the one comma x matrix is one. And this is our formula of the x values. Now that we have transformed our data set into the linear form, we can enter the Linus. So we have Linus of data y and data x. We will also show the full statistics. So our values for standard error B1 and B0 are the same. R squared are the same. F statistics, they are also the same. Regression sum of squares and residual sum of squares, they're also the same. But our uh, coefficients, here we have the intercept, which is ln A, which is the logarithm of this. So this is equal to the intercept our LNA and our B and B is equal to B here. So we have just obtained the values for A and B. This completes the longest and lightest solution for exponential decay model regression.